hello, 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 my Mad Scrappers. I'm back at you with another Magazine Monday. Why? Because I want to. <laughs> I'm coming back to revisit this, my other my other magazine. I think I also picked this up. Not a craft day, but I did pick it up from HSM. And it's Hunky Dory, Crafting with Hunky Dory. And it's, I mean, we're still in spring. It's not Easter. This is why I originally got it, because it had some really cute and usable for Easter. But a lot of them are just very, very springy. So... I fell in love with, oh, what's that? It's a piece of paper. We'll move that. With this card here. It is made, again, because the our friends over across the pond have no limits to how big they make cards. This card base is 7x7. Seven seven. But I look at, and I go, ah, no, I'm going to take it down to a 5x7. But I realize this piece here is pretty darn tootin' big. Although, in the kit, it calls to use this entire piece I am thinking, because I know I can lay my hands on envelopes that are 6x8. I probably have them. So I'm going to go up what I usually do, and we're going to make this into a 6x8 card just because. But I can't do it the way they want to because I don't want to. So I am going to do it, and I'm doing it the Mad Scrapper way. God help us all. So give me a second because what I'm going to go ahead and do is grab a 12 by 12 piece of paper because I was foolish and didn't do that to start with. And I'm going to come back and we're going to get cracking on this. I'm going to cut my paper down. It's going to take a 12 by 12 sheet. So I'm going to cut it down to six or um, 12 by eight because we score this and then we're going to start playing with this all. Okay, so give me a second. I'm going to be right back. Okay, I am back with a white piece of paper. Very exciting, right? <laughs> not <laughs> but I did cut this eight by 12 this is going to be a big card this is way unusual for me to do this but we are giving in to our friends across the pond and doing it their way or somewhat their way so we are going to do this six by eight so we are going to score this puppy at six inches this is going to be a big card we're going to worry about how making that envelope later but we got ourselves a big card. Okay, so let me move that over. We'll see. I tried to square this off camera, so we'll see how well I did with my endeavor of squaring it off. There was a lot less to square off, but this is basil paper, so this is better paper. I firmly believe that better paper doesn't give you much trouble. Well, okay, still, it's still there. So who knows, either my, I mean, and this was the Tim Holtz trimmer. So either every trimmer on the planet does this or I'm the only one that this happens to so I mean take your pick alrighty so we have this now here's the dealio this is supposed to go on the inside so we're gonna trim this down a little bit but it does have a little goes with the edging of the silver so I had to go pull out some of my silver poster board and this one's a little muffed up but it's gonna be okay because most of it is going to be covered by this okay so I'm not stressing it so much. So give me a sec, because I'm going to cut to trim this down to 6 by 8 and maybe even do some die cutting out of words, because I, I can only do so many cards and not do something with the inside. And then we're going to cut trim this down to be on the inside. So if this piece is 6 by 8, the same as one side of the card, this is going to be 5 and 3 quarters by 7 and 3 quarters. And then this other piece is going to go up front. But we're going to play with that. So be right. Give me a second. Let me cut leave those pieces down and I'll be right back. So I did some thinking, which is always a dangerous thing where I'm concerned. And I have rethought out this thing a little bit. The way this card is cut, I mean, this is supposed to be sticking out a little bit. Not like this, but I'm supposed to cut it off. I'm still going to do it. So it says to cut off three inches and... I'm always remembering my rule, you use the same trimmer you start with, so even though this would fit in my other one, I'm going to go ahead and use this one, and it said cut three inches off, so that is exactly what I'm going to be doing, because I am insane, and there you go, so we'll move Timmy over here, where I can still reach him, and now I have that, so... This will then, I take this paper and I'm going to trim it down and I'm going to put that panel here. So let's go like this. So it's going to go like this. And then our friend here will go here and we'll be able to see the back of the card a bit, which is very, very cool. 
The problem is that this is very, I mean, insanely flimsy. And as you can tell, it's supposed to be punched out in several layers. So I, to my thinking, <clears throat> excuse me, it needs a little bit of reinforcing. So what I did is I took a moment, I traced that panel out, and I'm going to fussy cut me, and I'm going to cut from the inside of the line. So that way it will not be, it will not be visible. And this is just... Um, the cheaper, this is not heavy duty, this is my thinner, this is, you know, 65 pound probably Recollections white paper. But I'm just going to really quickly cut it. Like I said, again, I'm going to stay inside of my trace line. And that, that way it should work. But this is then, I'm going to glue it on the back of that panel. And we're going to then, that will reinforce it and make me feel better. Because I'm already half crazy doing this card the size I'm doing it. So what's a little bit more, right? So sometimes you just have to think, you know, a little bit outside of the magazine. And I know what you guys were thinking. She's just going to say outside of the box. No, I was not. But I wanted to take, this is my own take on that. Because, of course, you get these magazines and you see the inspiration. I look at it as craft, 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 I can't even say it now. But it is crafting inspiration. We'll just leave it at that. It is a guide. It is not a girdle. So you could take it and really, really like something. But then, you know, as you see fit, and I don't even I could, there we go. You can do your own spin on it. So I am adopting this a little bit because I'm going to the trouble of making this big old card. It's going to be good. And now see, now. All I got to do is grab my hopefully unclogged bottle of glue. Cross your fingers, guys. We will see if it is or it is not. Because I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to glue it down. And I was right. It is congested because I did not unclog this. So give me a second. Let me unclog it. Okay. I got it unclogged -minated. So let's just now, let's squirt our glue all the way around the edge first. Catch that first, and then we'll catch the middle. Doesn't have to be a big, thick line. It just, but it does have to be there. And I just want to put enough down, and this is still not as unclogged as I would like it to be, but unclogged enough. I think I just need to go ahead and retire this bottle and bust out a new one. I think I'm dealing with issues of the glue just thickening up because I've had this bottle for three years now, okay? You know, enough is enough. You know, it's saying, come on, cut me a little slack here, <laughs> right? So now we're just going to take this panel and just glue it to the back of the other one, making sure that you can't see it from the front. So I'm going to now turn it around. And there we go. Let me smoosh it down. Make sure it's good and adhered. And there we go. So now we have that good and reinforced. Let me take this piece and I got to cut it. So there's a little bit of edge, just like I did on the panel. So if that panel is three by eight, this is going to be two and three quarters by eight. So there is our two, there is our three quarters. And let's hope this does not back up, backfire on me. Cause I would hate to waste more of this pretty, pretty, pretty paper. Okay. So how are we doing here? It did backfire on me. What the heck? What did I do? That is three inches, right? Something just didn't look right to me. What is it? So not sure what I did. We're going to do this one more time. And I think I did two and a half, not two and three quarters. So that would, that makes a lot of difference. Okay, there we go. We will find a use for that piece of paper. Trust me on it. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. And then seven and three quarters. So here we go. There we go. And we'll set that aside. So now we've got our two panels here. This card is quite, I mean, this is just a very simple card but super, super cute. So let's get these pieces down. Where is Big Mama? Down here where she lives in her garage. She has a garage down there. And let's lay down our tape. Whoops. 
except, boy, you're wanting a dry wire. Let me go a little bit slower. There we go. And I'm just going to go all the way around the edge. That way it stays adhered to my guard base. It doesn't have to survive, as I always say, the zombie apocalypse. But it would be nice if it lasted more than a hot second, you know. At least got there glued together still. And then now we're just going to center that panel right here where it goes. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Let me center it, Myra. Center it. Pay attention. There we go. Now we're going to take this piece and it will go right here. And she's right here. I'm like, what did I just do with my tape gun right here? Whoops. Ah! Stop it. No flipping out. I am the only person allowed here to flip out. I do it with great regularity. <laughs> and we're just going to put this all the way around. One in the middle. We're going to take that and adhere it to this front panel. And there we go. Now we have our little male person here. And we are going to go a little on the high side. <gasps> Excuse me. Just because I want to. Oh, maybe we do put it down low. I don't know. We're going to go about right here. So now the question being, do I pull it off a little bit off? There's a part of me that wants to do that. So I think I may give in. I'm going to give in. Let's grab our foam tape. There we go. And there. So let me grab my bone folder. It's right handy right here. Make sure it is good and adhered down. And we're going to grab our tweezers, remove our tape. It's also going to lay down. Let's see if I can. A little bit of glue on here just to give me a little bit of widget time. And that will allow me to, so I can center it. There we go. Come on, my pretty. There we go. And that's a little trick I learned from another YouTuber is to lay wet glue down on tape when you want to give yourself a little bit of play time to put something in place. So we're going to center, center that more or less. We got our little bunny panel right there. Perfect. Now, and no, we're not done yet. We're not done yet because it's all in the embellishments. So we're going to take a couple of our little punch pieces here. Take this one. And we're going to take this one. Come, my pretty come. There we go. And we're taking the tags, too. Come on, my pretty, come on. That one and this one. There we go. Okay, we'll set that aside. So these two are going to go, I'm going to put them right here. Where to go in the circle? I'm looking for a circle because there we go. Someone spent birthdays. You know what? I'm going to put birthday wishes here and someone special here. But before I do that, you guys haven't seen me do it on this other piece, but I'm going to remind you, when you do anything that you're punching it out, take a few seconds and go around with a nail file or whatever, just to smooth out so you don't see those little thingies that, you know, where it was attached to the paper. So this is only a couple of seconds, literally only takes a few seconds, but it's that extra finish. Okay, so now... Let's add my foam tape and let's see, let's see, let's see. We're going to go ahead and do 
those two pieces. Let's throw them in the trash. And we'll just put these down. Should I let myself let me give me some let me give myself a little bit of widget time. On both of these. Oh, see, now it, I'm getting lots of glue, aren't I? Yeah, a minute ago you were a miser. Now suddenly, ah, okay, I'll give a cutter some slack. So we're going to do birthday wishes first. There we go. Whoops. But we're not going to put it on upside down, okay? Just saying. So we'll put our birthday wishes there. We'll leave them. But I do have that. It's a little bit thicker layer, so it is there. It's kind of like hydroplaning, for lack of a better term. And I'll put that, and I'm going to scooch over my birthday wishes a little bit so it is kind of evenly from the edge like the other one. There we go. Goodness gracious. I'm going to move my circle in just a tiny bit. If I could, let me look at it this way so I make sure that they are straight. Because of birthday wishes. Okay. And then I'm going to glue them down. Now, these two friends of ours go on the inside. And I kind of like that little detail that they did. And it's in the card sample. So I'm like, that's a piece I'm keeping. Now on this card, again, and this is a tag, so let's pop that out. Let me pop our little circly bit out. And this one, again, I'm also going to go through. It's funny how when you have the straighter ones, the straighter it is, the more you see the little tags. I was really bumpy or even rounded. I don't know why you don't. Okay. Oh, uh, we got this. So now, oh, wait, 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 wait. We got to punch it through. We got to punch it through. Now, these are two little tags. Now, my question is, do I want to run a little piece of ribbon through it? Because they go somewhere up here, kind of like off there. So, I mean, on the sample, I think they're lower, but I kind of want them more visible. My question is, how do I want to do this? I definitely want to talk. I may, I may not even, I could have left them probably covered up because I think I'm going to put that ribbon right on top of it. So give me a second. Let me go pull some pink ribbon. I'm going to be right back. I figured it out. So I've already mounted these both on foam tape. So and I'm going to, and I'm going to add more dimension because you know, what's a little bit more again, you know, my theory always, and I know that the more dimension, the more expensive it is to mail if you're mailing this card, but I'm also like, if you're going to the trouble, this much trouble to make a card, really, you're going to quibble over a buck. That's just my thought. So I'm going to put that. So I'm looking at that right about here. Whoops. And it attached itself to me. And then see, that's what I was doing. So we can still see our little bunny, but we see the special delivery peeking out over the outside of the card. And now I'm going to grab my ribbon. I think this is, when I get this, is Hobby Lobby ribbon, I think. Just trying to get it in here without, I want to cut the plastic off without cutting a layer of ribbon. Come on. Really? There we go. And we're going to make a little bow here. And we're just going to go bunny ears on this. Because this is how about the only way I know how to make a good and pretty bow. Oh my goodness. At least if I can get it. Okay, let me try this again. I'd rather waste this ribbon. It is not like insanely expensive ribbon. This is positive. This is Hobby Lobby ribbon. Let me pull it through. Come here. Me. There we go. I'm telling you, bunny ears, lifesaver. Tie that up.
There we go. Okay. So we're just going to snip that off about here. I'll probably be snipping some more off. Off. Here's the funny thing is as we have that, I put open the hole. Look at that. It attached. I can attach it to the foam tape. The little knot is caught by the foam tape. But I think, well, no, I have to. Let me do it this way. There we go. So our bow doesn't completely cover the bunny. There we go. So we're going to take that and we're going to trim it off a little bit more. Oops, missed the little tiniest of fibers. And we're going to trip. I'm going to pull off and cut it at an angle right about there. And believe it or not, for all intents and purposes, guys, we are done. Except there's a part of me that wants to put a little bit of embellishing in. And I pulled some stuff out. Aren't these perfect? These are almost the perfect color. And these are little embellishments I found in Daiso. Because remember, uh, to paraphrase Clary from Steel Magnolia, from the movie Steel Magnolias, the, the, the difference between us and the apes is our ability to accessorize, or in this case, embellish. I love that quote. I'm, I'm up full of quotes from that movie. I love that movie to death. I truly, truly do. So we can put here, we're going to grab and pick these up. I'm going to pick these actually with, no, I'm going to put on, we'll go from the top. Or we go from the bottom. Might be easier. Because these are all strung together, but we're not going to use them that way. I'm going to cut them apart. So I'm going to pull these all off. But I want to start by cutting a, cutting away that this pink one. There we go. We're going to grab it. Oops. Grab it before it sticks itself to the mat. There we go. Try to be delicate here. Ha! I'm like a bull in a china. There we go. China store. And we'll put these back down here. And then I'm going to grab the string, the next row of our little ones. There we go. And now we're going to cut a white one off. There we go. I'll grab it with my tweezers better this time. I'm going to go with that one right there. Because it's always the rules are threes. Our eyes want, I don't know what it is about the rule of three. Maybe we do leave it that way. I wanted to put this one higher. Go, and then we're going to grab another pink one. Or maybe we grab another white one and we'll put that pink one. I think that's what we're going to do. One pink, two white. There we go. We'll take that one off. Come here, you. Let's see if I can grab it with the tweezers as well. And it's kind of like wherever it lands, kind of. There we go. We add that little embellishment there. Do we want to add a couple down here? I mean, we'll put a white one down here, a big one. Let's see. Because I picked these up by accident with my fingers because they're sticky little guys. Come here, my little white one. We'll see. If I just leave it at one. Put that one down there. I think we're going to leave it just like that. And there you go, guys. Here's my little quick and easy magazine card from Hunky Dory. Thank you very much, Hunky Dory, for giving me such an adorable kit. But very simple, nothing too much to it. I can still stamp it on the inside with the sentiment, but I'll wait till I know who it's going to before I do so. But I have space here. We'll write, you know, here's a space where you can write your sentiment or you can do it right here, whichever. So, but it's a cute little stinking card and I love it. It's big, okay. But when have we not bought a big so I'm sure now I'm going to have to figure out, I'll come back to you guys with the envelope because I'm going to have to make the envelope for this one. There's no, uh, there's no going around that one, but I love it. I'm really, and I'm pleased. I'm okay with having gone off the dark side because it's the only way I would have gotten this look to this card. So I'm pleased. Hopefully you guys too. Hopefully, you know, you enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead, give me a thumbs up and drop me a line. If you want to see more of my ongoing madness, then you know what to do. Subscribe and ring that bell. Meanwhile, I'm going to let you go. Have a great day or an evening, depending on when you're seeing this. Craft and make something beautiful. And as always, don't forget 
we're all a little mad here. So come on, Craft the Madness with me, okay? I'm going to talk to you guys later. Bye!